there's so many of these um, bighorn sheep. So there's a lot of females and they have some babies. And the male is out, out, out yonder. This is the first time I've ever saw such a large herd like this all together. So that's been pretty cool. Well, how are you doing? How are you? Hey, you taking your picture, huh? That's all. You're so cute. Yeah, you're so cute. You're okay. You're okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Such a cool opportunity along the side of the road. So they're just munching on those plants over there. I don't know if I can see the male anymore. So there's a lot of tents around here. Look at them just chew on that food. Okay. So they're down here. Very close to that campsite. I never thought I would witness a herd of bighorn sheep by the camper's tent. This is a perfect example of why we should elevate our food above the ground. This camper was prepared for the wildlife that surrounded his campsite by hanging up his food in a sack on the tree. As you can see, you never know what you may encounter at the campsite. I don't want to get too close uh, to the male. He's around here. You should see the size of his uh, horns. I wouldn't want to get hit by him. He's here somewhere. I think, I think that's him. I don't know how fast these uh, sheep can run, but they probably can outrun me. So I think I'm gonna head back now. Where are you going? Are you going to camp? Are you gonna head back to camp? Well, hello. Hello. There you go. There you go. There you go.
Norbeck was a politician from South Dakota 
He contributed to the development of the roads in the Black Hills National Forest and convinced President Calvin Coolidge and Franklin D. Roosevelt to set aside federal money for the sculpture of Mount Rushmore. He also participated in the development of Sylvan Lake, Needles Highway, Badlands National Park, Custer State Park, and Wind Cave National Park. There's a really nice trailhead over here at the lake that Steve and I are going to take and I'm really looking forward to it. We didn't get to do it the last time that we were here. So today's the day. There's a nice little beach over here for the campers and guests and it's the end of summer swimming.
Yes, you do. <laughs> It's so nice that around Sylvan Lake they have these chairs that you can sit in. I think that is just wonderful. It was a perfect day to sit down and just take the lake in and the view. Well, we hiked around Sylvan Lake and we're nearing the very end, close to the parking lot. And those helicopters, they do tours of um, Mount Rushmore. And they also do Crazy Horse. Be a great way to see Mount Rushmore and Crazy Horse. That was just a beautiful walk through there. If you ever come up this way, I highly recommend it take the walk around the lake. It wasn't too difficult either. It's really nice that they rent um, kayaks over, over here and they also rent canoes. So it's a wonderful way to go around the lake and just see its beauty.
the coldest hand to run down this land where the ocean lands. It's the tallest sound, the damn smallest crowd, but the hearts break loud. Far from ever feeling lost with me, I'll push you back towards the land and sea. They're going down for love, and love is free. Stick with me, and I will guarantee you're never lost among the crowd with me. Everywhere you go, I'll be. 